Thumbelina. A woman wanted a baby. How can I get a child? She thought. I know. I'll go and see the old woman. She knows about magic. She can help me. She went to the old woman's house. I want a baby, she said. Tell me, where can I get a child? Oh, that's very easy, the old woman said. Here's a magic flower. Plant it in a small box and wait. The woman went home with the magic flower, and put it in a box. The next day, there was another beautiful large flower in the box. This is a beautiful flower," said the woman, and she kissed it. She kissed it again, and the flower opened. There was a baby girl inside the flower. She was a lovely little girl, but she was very, very small. She's very small," the woman said. "I'll call her Thumbelina." Thumbelina lived inside her flower on the woman's table. One night. Thumbelina was asleep in her flower when an old toad came through the window. The toad was very big and very ugly. She jumped onto the table next to Thumbelina. Thumbelina is very beautiful. I want her to marry my son, thought the toad. She took the flower and Thumbelina. And she jumped through the window and down into the garden. The toad lived with her son in a field near a river. Ugh, her son was very ugly. He saw the beautiful little girl in the flower. Croak, croak, brick, kick, kick, he said. Don't speak, said the old toad. She'll wake up and run away. We'll put her in the river in this flower. Then she can't get away. The next morning, Thumbelina opened her eyes. She was on a big river, and she was afraid. Where was the land? Where was her home? The old toad and her ugly son swam to Thumbelina. "You'll be his wife," the old toad said. "You'll live in a field near the river." "Croak, croak, brick, kick, kick," her son said. Little Thumbelina cried and cried. She did not want to live in the ugly toad's house. The little fish in the river heard her. They swam to her, and looked at her sadly. Then they pushed the flower, and it moved down the river. The little flower started to move quickly. The toads were too slow and could not follow the flower. The little birds in the trees saw Thumbelina. She's a lovely little girl, they said. And the flower moved away down the river. A big beetle saw Thumbelina on her flower. He caught her and took her up into a tree. Then he sat with her in the tree and gave her a flower. Eat this, he said. I like you. You're not a beetle, but you're very pretty. The other beetles wanted to look at little Thumbelina. She's only got two legs. They said, "She's very ugly. Is she a little girl? Girls are very ugly." The big beetle looked at Thumbelina again. "My friends think she's ugly," he thought. "She is ugly." He took her down from the tree and put her on a flower. Poor Thumbelina cried and cried. Nobody likes me. She thought, 
They all think I'm ugly. Poor Thumbelina lived in the great wood for a long time. She had no friends, and she slept under a flower. It was winter, and the days were very cold. The birds started to fly away, and the flowers began to die. Then it started to snow. There was a big field near the wood. Thumbelina walked into the field, and she came to a very small house. It was the home of a field mouse. Thumbelina stood at the door. Poor little girl, said the field mouse. You're sad and cold. Come into my house and eat some food. The field mouse liked Thumbelina. You can stay with me through the winter, she said. But I want you to tell me stories. I like stories. Every day, Thumbelina told the field mouse a different story. Then one day, the field mouse said, My friend's coming to my house. He's very rich, and he's got a big house. Marry him, and you'll be very happy. But Thumbelina did not want to marry the mouse's friend. Her friend was a mole. He's very rich and very clever, said the field mouse. But he doesn't like the sun. He lives under the ground. He never sees the beautiful flowers. The mole came to the house and saw Thumbelina. He wanted her to sing for him. He heard her singing and he liked her. But he said nothing. He was a very quiet mole. The mole made a little road from his house, deep under the ground, to the field mouse's house. One day, Thumbelina, the field mouse, and the mole walked down this road. Thumbelina saw a bird near the mole's house. That bird died because he was cold, Thumbelina said. She was very sad. She loved little birds. Who wants to be a bird? the mole asked. A bird says tweet tweet all day and flies up in the sky. But in winter it's very cold. Then the birds die. Thumbelina said nothing. The field mouse and the mole walked down the road, but she stayed with the bird. She kissed it. That night Thumbelina could not sleep. She got out of her bed and took some flowers to the bird. She made a bed from the flowers. I'll make him warm, she thought. Then she sat down next to him. But the bird was not dead. He opened his eyes. The next night she went to the bird again. He was not dead, but he was very ill. He opened his eyes again and looked at Thumbelina. Thank you, pretty little child, the bird said. I'm warmer now. Tomorrow I'll get up and fly into the sky again. Thumbelina said, Don't go. It's very cold. There's snow everywhere. Stay in your bed. I'll bring you food and water. The bird stayed there for days, and Thumbelina brought him water in a flower and some food. She did not tell the field mouse and the mole about the bird. One day it was warmer. The sun came out and the bird got up. Look at the beautiful sun, he said to Thumbelina. Come away with me. You can sit on my back. No, I can't. Thumbelina said. The mouse wants me to stay here. Then, goodbye, goodbye, you good pretty girl, said the bird. He flew up and up into the sky. Thumbelina watched him. She liked the little bird. He was her friend. She started to cry. 
Tweet, 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 the bird sang and flew up and up. Thumbelina could not see him now. You're going to marry the mole, Thumbelina, said the field mouse. He wants you to be his wife. You'll be very happy. Start work and make some beautiful clothes. Thumbelina worked hard. Every night the mole visited her. Next month it will be cooler. Then I'll marry you, he said. Every morning Thumbelina went outside and looked at the sun. It's beautiful, she thought. I don't want to live under the ground. I'll never see the sun again. And I want to see my friend, the little bird. I can't marry the mole she told the field mouse. You will marry him, said the field mouse. Marry him or I'll hurt you with my white teeth. One day, the mole came to the field mouse's house. Today, you're going to marry me, he said. Poor little Thumbelina was very sad. She went for a walk. Goodbye, son, she said. Then she heard a wonderful sound. Tweet, 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 tweet. Her friend, the bird, came down out of the sky. I don't want to marry the ugly mole, Thumbelina cried. And I don't want to live under the ground. I want to see the sun. It's nearly winter. The days will be cold again, the bird said. I'm going away to a warm country. Come with me. You can sit on my back. We'll go away from the ugly mole, over the mountains, to a wonderful country with lovely flowers. Yes, I'll come with you, Thumbelina said, and climbed onto the bird's back. Then the bird and Thumbelina flew up into the sky over woods, across the sea, and over mountains. They came to a warm country. It was never cold there, and the sun looked bigger. There was fruit on the trees, and there were lovely flowers. Happy children played in the gardens. They stopped at some big trees near a wide river. My home's in those trees, the bird said. But you can't live in a tree. You'll have to live in a flower. Look at those beautiful flowers. Tell me, which flower do you like? I'll put you down on it. The bird flew down and put Thumbelina on a beautiful white flower. There was a little man inside it. A little man or woman lives in each flower he said. I'm the prince of the little people. He's very beautiful, said Thumbelina to the bird. The little prince was afraid of the big bird, but he looked again at Thumbelina and he felt happy. She was very, very pretty. What's your name? he asked her. Thumbelina, she said. I will, I will marry you, said the prince. I'll make you princess of the flowers. Yes, yes, cried Thumbelina. A little man and a little lady, a little boy and a little girl came out of every flower. Everybody was happy. Thumbelina is an ugly name for a pretty girl, the prince said. We'll call you Maya. So Maya and the prince lived happily with their friends in their beautiful country.